Hello friends. Welcome to Sony Brooke Stamper. My name is Rita Winter and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. My family and I live in Steinbach, Manitoba, Canada, and I'm very excited to share this video with you. If you like this video, please uh, press the thumbs up button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please consider following Stony Brook Stamper. And if you're watching this um, video on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. So let's start with the video um, with making the card. So the card today that we'll be making is, um, is from the art gallery stamp set. And it's um, fine arts floral from the mini catalog from this last January to June 2021. It just happens to be the cover photo of the catalog. Also, I should mention to you that uh, if you decide to place an order, if you're in Canada and you would like to place an order, you're welcome to contact me. I would be very honored to place the order for you. And, um, and if you decide to do it through uh, the computer yourself, you just go to stamping up dot com uh, you choose the demonstrator which would be me um, and also you uh, enter this number for the host code is j73 k2 z74 so let's uh, start doing some crafting all right, I've already prepared a lot of the things, a lot of the, my papers, so that the video wouldn't be so long. And um, it's, um, I'm just trying to organize my papers so that it's, uh, it makes sense what I'm doing. Oh, and, and that it wouldn't be upside down, that would be, a nice feature to have. All right, so the cardstock that I am using is uh, really smooth. It's a stamp stamping up uh, cardstock. It's one of our in colors this year. It's uh, called Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Um, it's eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored at halfway through right here. Um, so it's scored at four and a quarter, or basically uh, it means to fold it in half. So it, now you have the dimensions of five and a half and four and a quarter. That is our base. So I'm gonna use my bone folder to press it down so it's a little bit more flat. All right, my first layer is, uh, is to go on here. Uh, the dimensions of it is four by five and a quarter. So this is four, five and a quarter. And if you're wondering what the special coloring is, um, I didn't have a matching color paper that I needed, I wanted to use. So what I did is I took um, one of our blends and this is um, the dark um, old olive uh, blends. And basically what I did is um, take my, uh, my marker and just went around it so that it would give me the the color of the paper that I had wanted to have. So, and isn't this such beautiful, beautiful paper? I love the colors and the designer uh, for it, the design. So basically, this is what it would look like. <laughs> Just having that a bit of uh, uh, layering piece just gives it a bit of a pop. 
this <clears throat> piece of paper is um, five by four and this I will be putting on the inside so one can write. I had a bit of a piece of scrap paper and it happens to be um, one inch by four inches so one inch by four. I glued it on just to make it look a little bit fancy so maybe the first thing we're gonna do is uh, is attach it then it's out of the way. Uh, as you see I'm still using the Tombow um, because I don't have everything yet so it's uh, and I have a bunch of the Tombow I, so I thought I would just finish using it and then order from stamping up their products. There we go. Isn't that pretty? All right, so that's done with. So here we're gonna go for with the rest of it. I just wanna make sure that I'm not uh, making any kind of a mistake. And all right, so now we're gonna and you know what, we'll attach this first. I'm going to grab my mat so that uh, it doesn't get stuck. And I should say that this paper is um, uh, three and three quarters by five. So three and three quarters by five. And this one is four by five and a quarter. So bas basically it's uh, a quarter inch smaller. So quarter. So this layer is a quarter inch smaller than this. And this layer is a quarter inch smaller than that. So that, that's how I decided I wanted to design the paper. So I'm going to put... some of this on here and attach it there make it nice and even all right now we're gonna do this Almost did it upside down. Oops, a little bit. I need a little bit more room here. That will probably bother me, but we'll leave it for now. All right, so that's where we're at with that. Uh, now, the next part. The next part, this is a layering piece that will go here. But in the meantime, we need to stamp uh, the picture. And here's the fun part of it, the stamping. As you can see here, it says stampinup.com and please choose the country Canada. Uh, demonstrator, Rita Winter, you'll need to select that host code and this host code is only good for March 2021 and again it's J73K2Z74. If you go um, on their website to place an order and I would be very honored if you uh, would choose me as your demonstrator and if you'd like to have a catalog 
sent out to you, please contact me through Facebook and I'll gladly do that for you. All right, let's do a little bit of stamping. I've got everything ready. All right, I did something that wasn't probably very good. I, um, I cut one of my stamps apart just because I was having a problem trying to figure out how to stamp. So this I'm stamping with, uh, I don't have a lot of the Stampin' Up st um, stamps. I have a lot of blends, but not the inks. Uh, that's something I'll be in investing in next. So I'm just, uh, I'm trying to use what I have. And this is Memento. It's also some kind of an olive, uh, Memento Olive Grove. We use the Memento Black inks for uh, stamping, um, for coloring. Gonna hold it here. Isn't that nice? I love that stamp. But one of the things that I really like, it's, and I didn't know this, I often complained about the stamps that my hands would be in it, but uh, stamping up uh, blocks, these glass blocks are so thick. Let me show you the difference between uh, some of the blocks that I was using before to the stamping up blocks. It's basically, um, this one is double than this one, the width. Isn't, isn't that great? I love that. All right, so I have that. And uh, let me just uh, clean it. Oops, this is the side to clean, this is to dry it. All right, and I will close this. All right, the next part, um, where's my next stamp? There it is. So this is like, this is supposed to be all in one. And because I, I had a hard time trying to stamp it and trying to figure out how to work with cutting it out and be, I did not order the dies for it, um, which next time I will, uh, this is, um, this is how it goes together, but I decided to cut it out. All right, let me take the next color that I want to use. And this is a plum, plum color that I'm using. Let me set it up here. Press it, press it, hold it, rub it, massage it. And great, that looks really good. So we're gonna clean the stamp wet, dry. All right, we'll put that away. Now this this is what I love about these uh, um, these stamps. They're made so beautifully and awesome for layering. And I'm just I'm using a red color now to. Uh, Excuse, hopefully you don't get my head in, in you to block your view. Isn't that great? It's so beautiful. All right, well, 
do the same thing here. Easy to line up. One more time. I'll just move this a little bit. And I love that it's see-through and it's easy then to line up. All right, I will clean, clean, clean. Dry, dry, dry. Put away. All right, I love that, but um, I would like a little bit of uh, that highlight or low light, a little bit of the red in it. So I'm just taking a um, marker that I have and just adding a little bit of that red just so that it kind of uh, fits in with the rest of the stuff. Now the other, like this is beautiful already. And uh, the one thing I notice is that uh, all these blooms, they have uh, stems. But, and they need to be green. So I took my blends, the narrow part, and just color it. There we go. And nobody can tell that I had cut the stamp apart. And this is so easy to do like this. Now, I would also like to add a little bit of uh, gold to the flowers to the inside so i'm going to use the same stamp that i used to add the red and i will if i ever get this open i will there we go i will add a bit of gold just for a little bit of effect. Um, I don't want too much of it. I just want to stamp and just a Same thing here, line it up, a quick stamp. Same thing here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little bit of color. Okay, so clean, 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 clean. All right, that's it for our, uh, most of our stamping. The only other thing that we need to stamp is uh, the sentiment. And I've chosen happy birthday and I have it already, all ready and I believe um, what color should we use? I think I'll just use black, just a basic black sentiment. Using Memento ink. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Play around with it. Line this up. I guess the other color would have also looked really good is the 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 olive color would have worked great. Mm, I think it looks good. Should be even. All right, we'll just clean it up and dry it so that later when I clean up the stamps, it will be easy to do. Put the ink away. Did you know that um, Memento apparently these are really good to store them upside down than rather than upright, so the the juiciness of the ink uh, comes forward. All right, so we have that. So if you can bear with me, I'm gonna quickly 
cut this picture out um, in an oval shape to go with the oval that I showed you before. All right, I cut it with the oval and uh, this is how we will put it together. I bring the silicone mat. You know, I'm a new demonstrator and I don't have all the fancy things that Stamping Up offers. So I use what I have and that's, and that's okay too. Um, so don't feel that you can't do these cards because you don't have the same uh, products that I have because uh, crafting is fun and it is for fun. So it's very important to remember that. Alright, so now we're going to use uh, uh, these dimensionals. They are awesome. It gives you the 3D type of a look. We'll do one there, one there. One on each side here. Um, and we'll use this. Now, um, I just wanted to tell you that just because I've um, I've used up all the, the hexagons. Don't throw this out. This is still very usable because this is all part of it. And you can snip it and uh, use it um, on some narrow areas or just use it like I did right here. Now I need the pick that I have. I don't have any nails, so I have a hard time uh, taking all of these uh, um, covers of the dimensionals. Uh, there's the dimensionals are sticky from both sides, and uh, so one goes at the bottom and one is on top. And of course, you knew that already. So I just want to figure out exactly where I want to have this. Do I want to have it in the middle, at the side, here? Kind of like the little bit of red. Um, I like the yellow showing because our base is yellow. Um, Maybe I'll just kind of go right here. And let's make it a little, let's make it a little bit more even from top to bottom. There, here we go. I love this card. It's turning out really good. Now, um, I want to uh, put a bow on here. So I need some ribbon. Um, I don't have the stamping up ribbon, but for in this color or in uh, most of the colors, but one of the things that I discovered is um, one of the Stamping Up demonstrator was telling us that she takes her blends, whatever color she wants to match it up with, and she colors the ribbon. 
with it. So I have been trying to think of what color of ribbon do I want? Do I want the olive green that we already have lots of? Do, do I want the yellow? Um, do I want the red or the pink? So um, maybe having pink here would be a bit too much. The yellow would be kind of nice to have. I think we'll go with the yellow. So I'm just going to grab the yellow, one of the bumble. I guess I don't have a bumblebee. But I have other ones that will work. All the blends come in two shades, the light color and the dark. And this one is, it's so written, so small. Um, uh, Daffodil Delight, that's what it is. I need to get my eyes checked. All right, Daffodil Delight. Let's see how this will work with Daffodil Delight. Is that a good color? Yep, that's a good color. We'll do this. It dries really quickly and uh, it goes right through. Stamping up has some beautiful ribbons. And uh, the only ribbon that I have that's um, from the in colors is the cider, cinnamon cider. I have a few other ribbons, uh, but uh, none of them uh, worked. There we go. All right, now I need a scissor to cut this. And watch me struggle making a bow. I'm gonna put that away too. very good dexterity in my fingers so this making bows sometimes is a challenge for me I sitting by a window and I see my husband going for a walk and uh, our two of our cats are watching and one of them is thinking hmm should I go or should I not he's done that before uh, a couple of years back where he followed my husband and uh, and then he got lost it in the middle of the night we were driving around well not not in the middle of the night but it was uh, dark already we were driving around looking for him and he's black and he was just a tiny little kitten all of our cats have been rescue cats my daughter seems to find them uh, on sides of the roads that somebody threw out. All right, so I think that looks good. So that will look really good there. I think we'll do that. Now, let's give it a little bit of a haircut. Oops. And from this side too. Now, to attach the bow, I find it it's easier to use glue dots, which is the better side. I'm just trying to think of which would be the better way of doing it. 
because my bow, the one side is kind of trying to be funny. All right. I think we'll do this. So I like to use glue dots. So I think this is the end of uh, making this card. I might consider doing um, a bit of Wink of Stella uh, later to put a bit of glitter on, but we'll see once the color dries and how it works. So what do you think of the card? I think it's beautiful. I love it. I'm glad the way it turned out. So it's, oh, I guess we're not done. We haven't attached the sentiment. How could I forget that? All right, so happy birthday. So how come I can't think of what I did with my cutter? Oh, there it is. my stamping up cutter it works so great I love it I just got it in the mail and what one of the things that I really like about it and why I wanted is uh, this uh, cutter um, is the fact that it also has a score feature it's you can score it using this feature and you can cut it using this blade. So I just want to make sure that I have what I need. Do I need to cut anything else? Nope. I'm going to put this away. It takes up so much room. I think we'll flag on one side. Now uh, it's gonna bother me that the bottom is uh, so much, um, so much wider. I'm gonna just trim it a little bit. sure that it's even even Steven oops It's not so wide. Um, I don't think I, I like how it turned out, so we'll 
we cut that side and recut that side. All right. I think we'll just uh, put it here. Something is still bothering me. Yeah. That's better. So here again, here is our card. This is Rita from Stony Brook Stamper. Thanks for joining me. Watch later this week for another video. We will be playing with butterfly brilliance. So, so beautiful. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you later this week.